Imagine years ago when we all had film cameras taking our medium format two and a quarter square or 35 mil films in for processing. And we found out that our film laboratory cuts the negs down to half or even a quarter of the original size because we've always done it that way or well we'll make up your neg size in the darkroom with some clever tricks. Well that's pretty well what we do every time we send images from modern high pixel count DSLRs and digital backs and resize our images for print down to 300 pixels per inch. If we take our 36 megapixel image from our full frame DSLR and print from our resampled and averaged 300 pixel per inch image sized to A3 or US size 17 inches by 11 inches, we lose over half of our original pixels that came from our camera sensor. The modern form of film. If we take our 36 megapixel image from our full frame DSLR and print from our resampled and averaged 300 pixel per inch image sized to A4 or 8.5 by 11 inches in US, we lose over three quarters of our original pixels. Now to be fair, when we cut our image files down to 300 pixels per inch, we're obeying an old, out-of-date bit of advice, which in the days of 4 megapixel cameras and slow computers around 1998 made sense. Resampling down involves taking average values from our camera sensor pixels, then our amazingly clever software creates fewer artificial pixels based on those averages. Finally, those pixels are handed over to our printer driver, which splits them up and remaps the data into droplet information, which we then measure in dots per inch. So although we may lose over half of the genuine camera pixels in some cases, the actual inkjet print we get visually is not too bad at a consumer level. For professional photographers or keen enthusiasts with modern high pixel count digital cameras, however, a higher level of image print production is available. If the document resolution is applied correctly according to sensor pixel count, and physical size of the final inkjet print. Let's take a break here and pick up where we left off in the next movie.